Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today we are back on the Savage Wilds, building a general store. All of the mods you used in this build are in the pinned comment below, so without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, I started off with, of course, the base plate. I'll be primarily using the Dude's Delightful Decorations mod in this build, with the decoration being from that mod and the other mods in my collection. I used Tavern Stone Fence Foundations to build out a fairly simple, moderately sized base plate, sectioning off the ground floor to create what will be the separation between the store counter and the sales area. Next for the walls. This general store will have three floors, with the ground floor being the sales floor itself, and the first and second being living and storage areas. I firstly built the ground floor, placing a single layer of stone walls and windows on the ground floor. I'll be transitioning into tavern walls after this first tile, but having that stone base helps to make the build feel a bit more interesting in my opinion. Once I'd finished the walls, I covered the floor with tavern wooden ceilings, and built some pillars up to support the next floor, though I would later change the position of a few of these pillars. Next for the first floor, I firstly built some sloping walls outside the store and built walls high above the doorway section, then beginning with the tavern walls. I built one tile of tavern walls in alternating fashion above the stone walls to finish the ground floor, and then created the first floor with tavern wooden ceilings. Once I built the ceilings, I then moved to the walls, again including windows around the build. This mod has tons of options for windows, but I quite like these wooden windows that jut out from the structure, I think it helps a lot with creating some depth on both the exterior and interior. After I'd built the walls one tile high on this floor, and added slope sides to the back near the staircase, I then built a small staircase up to what would be the second floor. I made this area smaller than the floor below it, and then raised some of the walls below it to meet it, using slope sides to transition walls into the floor above. I also added some roof gables around the build, including a flying buttress above the staircase. After building the walls one tile high on the second floor, I then also added roof gables to that section. I did run into some stability issues, but it was an easy fix by simply adding a pillar from the ground floor to the floor of the second. Next for the roofs, 
Like a lot of my recent builds, this store will have a few different smaller roof designs, which is perfect for this sort of medieval building style. Dude's Delightful Decorations adds variants for the tiled roof pieces, which is perfect for this build, so therefore I chose to use these roofs. I also use the roof pieces to create floating awnings in front of the build, where goods will be delivered. After that I then finished off the roofs and of course added some fences inside the build. Finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to of course furnish. Approaching the build, deliveries have been left underneath the awnings outside the store, and I've lit the store itself with brass lanterns. Entering the store, this is the workplace of Wyman and his associate Darren. Wyman's stock changes often, but he's still stocking a wide variety of goods for all sorts of customers. Wyman himself is currently debating prices with a customer near the salves and tonics, while his apprentice Darren looks after the counter. The shop floor has tons of goods for house building and furnishing, writing and fighting, or just for stocking up the kitchen. Extra stock is also stored behind the counter, so that should anything run out it can be easily restocked. Heading upstairs, the small room on the right is Darren's bedroom, a small yet comfortable room where he can relax and handle some of the minor paperwork that Wyman gives him. For the rest of the first floor, there's a small seating area in the corridor, along with a food storage room and a small personal kitchen for Wyman and Darren to cook their own food.
Heading upstairs, we finally reach Wyman's quarters, a much larger yet still quite rustic bedroom where Wyman handles the rest of the paperwork and trade arrangements for the store, along with working on his own personal writings. And there we have it, Wyman's Wares General Store in the Savage Wilds. Thanks for watching, apparently this map is getting an update pretty soon with new biomes and such, so I'll have to come back to this map pretty soon and check out those new areas. If you've enjoyed this video leave a like and let me know what builds you want to see in the comments below, as usual anything is welcome. There are new videos coming at least twice a week so do feel free to subscribe. Only 20% of my viewers are actually subscribed to the channel, so if you're new here and you've enjoyed this video, or you've seen a few of my videos before, hit the big red button to join the coffee cult, there are plenty more videos coming for you to enjoy. As usual, the links to my Twitch, Patreon and Discord are in the description. You can get 66% off a 2 year deal with NordVPN plus a month free when you visit nordvpn.org slash eradyt or use code eradyt at checkout. I use Nord a lot to watch region lock content, but I would personally recommend it to anyone that values their privacy online. Purchasing NordVPN through my link goes a long way to help me and the channel out, and you also get access to the best rated VPN service on the market, so I'd recommend at least taking a look if you are interested. Nord has a 30 day money back guarantee, so if you are not 100% satisfied with the service you can get your money back quickly and easily. The links to get that discount are down in the description below or you can just enter code EREDYT at checkout. If you'd like to support the channel directly, you can become an esteemed cultist on Patreon, where you'll get access to exclusive Discord roles, sneak peeks of new videos, and your name at the end of every video. On that note, a thanks to our patron Sammy, Sadialot, Randar, Connor, Blue Ivy, Velma, Shannara, Torn, and Eagle Rose. Again, thanks for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.